Hey, what's going on, guys? Ian's Cards back here with another break. Today, we got a couple of blasters of debut edition, Panini debut edition. So, I've not ripped this product at all, so I'm pretty interested to see what we got going on here. Um, I'll go ahead and get the uh, wrapping off these guys. Show you guys. Oh, yep, that was loud. That was very loud. <laughs> go ahead and show you guys some of the stats, see what we got cooking. And, uh, yeah, let's have some fun. We haven't ripped blasters in, like, a couple of weeks or so, maybe? But, uh, that was a soccer blaster box that I ripped, so. Interested to see what we got going on here. There's a little sticker on the bottom. I think it's the little sensor code, but. And here we go, we'll rip through the other one. Yeah, I think this product came out about a month ago, and, uh, I didn't. I didn't get the hobby box. I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't really like too, I don't know. I just didn't really see it, you know, didn't really see it in stores either. Wow. They, that is like so microscopic that I don't think the camera will even pick it up, but that's okay. So this box has a hit and I'm just, you know, curious to see what the product has to offer. I, seen a couple videos on it and you know, I was like might as well get the blaster so this is a it, it's an interesting looking card I mean it's got that I actually I kind of like it I kind of like it Manny Machado Jordan Alvarez that's nice Alec Thomas it's a nice like I'm digging it looks kind of cool that, that card just glided across. Yeah, guys, how are you guys doing today? Got off from class. I don't got class today, but I gotta do schoolwork. Just kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do about it? So I don't really know how I'm gonna know when the hit's coming or not, but that's for us to find out together, right? It is kind of hard to tell who the people are though like the names are a bit um you know covered up let's say the not covered up just harder to see because it's got that glary type vibe and i hope it doesn't mess up the view that much so you guys can see what is going on nice kyle tucker love kyle tucker one of my favorites I think it's a it's an autograph or memorabilia, and uh, two packs left, so it sh should be coming up on it soon. It's a nice boba shed, purple card. Is it numbered at all? No. Nice looking card though. Cedric Mullins, Trey Mancini, back to back Orioles. So yeah, let me know if you guys have had any nice pickups recently, been ripping any boxes. Just, you know, how's your guys' uh, experience been with cards recently? Because I haven't been doing too, too much. Been going to a couple card shows. I have picked up a couple of uh, Raphael Devers cards, which you guys know. He's probably my favorite player. He's a big-time Red Sox fan. I feel like this has got maybe a parallel vibe to it. Does not. But the hit was in the last pack, so that makes the job a lot easier for us. Except opening it, opening it doesn't seem to be that easy. Oh yeah, you could definitely tell if it's uh, a hit or not, because that boy's jumbo. So we go, we got a Yon Duran, J.P. Crawford, Ryan Zimmerman's in this product. Nice video. I feel like it's a, probably going to be a relic. So, go down the way this way. Oh, no. We'll go this way. Didn't really see the name, so that's good. Kansas City. Ah, uh, troll me with Bobby Witt. Kansas City, but it's not Bobby Witt. But, it's Angel Tapera. A man that I have never heard of before, but that's okay because that's just the way things go. 
Now let's cook on to the second box. See, I'm not really sure what products I'm going to be opening soon because, I don't know. I haven't really seen anything that has piqued interest too much. I do go to card shows quite often though, so whenever I'm at a card show and I see a box to rip, you know, I'll grab one. That's why, uh, I don't know that when this video is going to go up, but and that's why I had to open the uh, finest box not too long ago, but... Figured we'd open that just there, and it, it was calling me. It's a nice Jose Ramirez. Jose Miranda, he's pretty good. But other than that, I feel like I'm kind of just waiting for Tops Series 1 2023 to come out. And I don't know if that's a, how a lot of other people feel like, but... Just getting that vibe. There's a nice Riley Green. Put him up on the block. Good ball player. This is the best way for me to procrastinate and not do my schoolwork. So, we'll keep buying boxes. And I'll keep making videos. No, I'm playing. Um... Uh, all right, let's go. Let's see if we can get something good. And the, the hit should be maybe the next one, I'm assuming, because it doesn't look like this is that thick. And based off of the statistics behind this, you're most likely going to get a relic. Nick Lodolo, he's a pretty good uh, pretty good ball player. Realistically, I should put him up there with Hunter Green, but uh, I'm just kind of lazy. But here we go. Let's see what we can do. Another thick boy. Most likely a relic, but that's okay, because who knows? Maybe it's someone good. Josh Bell. Yohan Duran again, which is funny because Yohan Duran was on the other relic. Break. Oh, you know what? That, that's actually pretty good. You know that? Uh, I'm, you know, I'm so dyslexic. It said peak, but I said break. You know what? That's okay. That's that's actually... I'm I'm pretty surprised that we got... To be honest with you, I wasn't expecting anyone too, too crazy out of the blasters. Because, you know, it's a blaster at the end of the day. But, hey, that's an autograph relic. And it's a nice size patch as well of Alec Manoa. So, you know, good ball player. Uh, nice autograph, nice relic. To be honest with you, that definitely surprised me. That was like, in comparison, like when I was opening the Allen and Ginter blaster. And I was just making fun of the product the whole time. But uh, that's pretty good. I mean, like, I feel like I can't complain about that anymore because, yeah, we struck out on one of the boxes. But, hey, that's a nice card to get, you know? That's a that's a $20 card, maybe. You know? I feel like that's an appropriate price range. That might be worth a nickel, but that might be worth 20 So, at the end of the day, who's really winning? The company Panini is. I'm just having fun opening the box. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's just a nice video to talk to you guys and see what's going on. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'm always responding. Just, uh, I enjoy communicating with the community. So, yeah, I hope you guys had a good time watching the video. And make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.